Welcome to the Western India Union. Western India Union comprises of the states of Maharashtra, Gujarat and the union territories of Daman and Diu. The scenic beauty of its coastal area is unmatched. The grandeur of the forts sprinkled in the western ghats is breathtaking. This territory is rich in its cultural heritage and specially shows out its art form. The religious tolerance speaks out with number of pilgrimages and the places of prayer for all religion. The natural beauty in the wildlife of this area is something to behold. It has also produced great historical leaders whose impact changed not only our nation but the world at large. This territory is specially known for its seat for higher education and its IT firms are world renowned. In fact, in one sentence we can say that this territory gives us a panoramic view from the rustic to the developed. Welcome all of you. Greetings from Western India Union, Pune. It is so nice to be here and to present to you a small promotion of our great union. In spite of the pandemic, our pastors and departmental directors worked very hard. We have quite a many departments, about 19 to 20 departments. All the departmental directors have different plans and they were active in promoting those plans. They are currently involved in making new plans to promote the work in the post-COVID situation and we can see God's blessings on our union by gathering new souls into our organization. You will witness each department presenting their activities and their plans. I would like to thank each one of them. I would like to thank God for working along with us in Western Day Union. We earnestly solicit your prayers for our union. Thank you. I, Dr. Jain Sable, Executive Secretary, it is my privilege uh, to present a brief report of Western India Union of Seventh-day Adventists. Western India Union of Seventh-day Adventists consists of Maharashtra and Gujarat and there are number of schools and number of churches spread around this region of Maharashtra and Gujarat. We have total eight church units, two conferences, three sections and three regions comprising of 1,8140 members and 488 companies and 257 churches. There are 15 schools 
there is one school in the state of Gujarat which has about 10,842 students enrolled. Education system in our union is an opportunity, is an avenue to reach to the population of Maharashtra and Gujarat. I should make this comment. The Indian Hindus are very religious. Religious in the sense they are not atheists. They are in the search of God. And therefore, just like Paul has said, you people are so religious. So Indians are very religious. This is an opportunity for us to reach to them. A paradigm shift is necessary. And therefore, let us join hands together as Western India Union family and uplift Glorify the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Greetings and Namaste to all the delegates of the General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists and also to all the members who have gathered in St. Louis. I'd like to wish a very special greetings from Western India Union. Western India Union is a union which is situated in the western part of the country of India. Now this happens to be a very important union for the division because it comprises of two very prosperous states, the states of Maharashtra and Gujarat. These two states have some very important institutions of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and let me mention, make a mention of some of the important institutions in our area. We have the Spicer Adventist University, we have the Salisbury Park campus which houses some very important institutions like Oriental Watchman Publishing House and we have the Pune Adventist Hospital and we have the Adventist Media Center. Apart from this, we have 16 schools in our union. The largest school in the division SDA Higher Secondary School, Maninagar, is also part of Western India Union. And then we have the METAS, uh, Educational and uh, Medical Center, which is located in uh, the city of Surat. So our union, Western India Union, has some very important institutions from the Adventist work point of view. And I'd like to greet each one of you from this standpoint of Western India Union. Western India Union has played a pivotal role in the history of the church in Southern Asia Division. To start with, we have the Salisbury Park campus where the work was headquartered for many years and we had overseas missionaries residing in this place and the work branched out from this particular area. The last five to seven years have been very important for West India Union. The union has gone through many ups and downs, very, very many developments have taken place, but at the same time, challenges and upheavals also have happened. As most of us are aware, the world had gone through the pandemic and Western India Union also had to face the brunt uh, of this particular problem. But I thank God that he has been able to tide us through from this important uh, challenge that we had to face. Apart from the treasury work that I handle, my name is Mr. Anil Kanne and I am the treasurer. I also handle uh, the youth department. The youth department uh, is very active in Western India Union. We have the Spicer Adventist University, we have the Metas campus, we have the Maninagar campus and we have about 17,389 youth in our campus and we have a Pathfinder membership of 1,492 and we have 36 Pathfinder clubs and also we have ambassador clubs 
adventurer clubs and public campus ministry chapters. The Western India Union has been a very dynamic union for the youth. The youth are very dynamic. From time to time we have Global Youth Day being organized. From time to time we have week of prayers and then we have master guide investitures and recently we had the senior youth, uh, senior youth leadership investiture. So the youth has been uh, has been very dynamic in Western Uni as in the Union and I'm happy to report from that. I'm happy to have this additional responsibility but my major responsibility is that of managing the finances and I thank God that he has been with the Union in the last couple of years and seen the Union through some major challenges. Thank you. Greetings to you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I, Chandrasekhar, the Associate Treasurer of West India Union, assisting the Treasurer in the financial matters, focusing mainly on the salary audits and the consolidation process and taking care of the retirees which are 140 with us. I want to share at this moment the statistics as of 31 March 2022. Self-sort percent is 102%. Working capital is 166% and liquidity is 82%. The total tithe as we have received is 5 crore 24 lakhs 13,323 in comparison to last March 4 crore 68 lakhs 9,680 which is of increase of 56 lakhs. And the total offering we received is 36 lakhs 60,530 whereas in last March we received 23,62,986 which is an increase of 13 lakhs. We are looking forward to increase 12.5 increase in the tithe and offerings. Continue to pay for Western Union. Thank you very much. I am Mrs. Shakuntala Chandan Shivay taking care of the Shepherdess, Women's and Children's Ministries departments. We have achieved a lot during the last Kunkunium, in spite of the pandemic which struck us midway, but that did not deter us from using the Zoom platform to reach out to our members of the nook and corners of our widespread unit. Our plans for these departments are to specially enable the children to become a good citizens and also enable leaders in our organization to make every woman able and self-reliant to equip every shepherdess so that she can be a big help to the pastor continue to pray for our departments thank you greetings to all God's people around the globe welcome to here from the stewardship department of the Western India Union. We need to make God's people realize that unless they place God first in their lives, they won't be moving in the right direction. Our stewardship department is focused on helping people strengthen their faith and become diligent stewards. Tighten Sabbath importance and promise offering is being taught to our volunteer pastors and also the laity besides the regular pastors. I am glad to inform you that the Western India Union has sent tithes and offerings through bank transfers to Southern Asia Division regularly. Despite the COVID calamity, despite the lockdown and all issues, the future plans with Stewardship Ministry. The following steps will be taken in the forthcoming years towards the Stewardship Ministry. First of all, measures for the spiritual empowerment of the laity. We need to encourage the viewing of devotional videos on tithes and offerings in every local church. We need to imbibe the format of reporting duly set by the General Conference as per the Stewardship Ministries reporting form. Measures are also taken for the spiritual empowerment of the laity, where the usage of weekly offeratory devotionals are to be presented 
in various churches during divine service. Mission stories should be presented in Sabbath school. Stewardship related sermons need to be preached at least once in six months in all the churches. The book on councils on stewardship need to be made accessible to as many members as possible. Annual Stewardship Revival Week and Commitment Ceremony need to be organized in several sections and conferences. We need to organize a systematic visitation program of church families. We also need to take measures for stewardship education. We need to imbibe a habit of regular and systematic offering. Distribution of local and worldwide church funds in the various church programs need to be explained. Church members need to be taught that stewardship principles uh, gradually should be leading to the baptisms because that is the ultimate target. Church youth and pathfinders need to be assisted in completing the respective awards and honors in stewardship. We need to hold workshops and seminars in family financial management. And the last point which we need to also teach is how we can build trust among the members. We need to strictly follow the church voted or approved documents for handling finances. We need to give at least quarterly financial reports to the members. We need to use voted financial budgets to manage finances in each year. We need to have a compulsory financial audit each year. Have at least one holy convocation program annually. In conclusion, I'd like to say that I thank God Almighty for His blessings. I thank the Southern Asia Division, the Western India Union officers for their support. And I finally thank Pastor Bihar Chandan Shive, our Union President, Pastor Rentley, our ex Stewardship Director of the Southern Asia Division. Pastor Paul Mani, our present stewardship director of the Nation Division. May God lead us and may we be able to be more focused on putting the right stewardship thought into our lifety. God bless us all. Greetings I bring to you from Western India Union. I'm Pastor Prakash Mali, Ministerial Association Secretary for the Western India Union. I'm happy to present to you a promotional evangelical work in our field of Western Indian Union. The evangelists take the pleasure while they travel from one place to another. Whatever the means they get like auto rickshaws, buses, trains, and they began to use the gift that they have of proclaiming the message of God through witnesses. We also go cottage door to door, a cottage meetings. Through cottage meetings, we come down to uh, the effort meetings. People gather in villages, in uh, cities. Cities is becoming a little difficult, but yet we are trying to see that the people come into the presence of the Lord with the testimonies, with the various gifts and strengthening, Bible studies, and therefore, our department functions in a various different categories as prayer meetings, we have prayer ministry, we have uh, global mission ministries, we have uh, spirit of prophecy ministry, we have PCM, that is public campus ministry. These are the special ministries that the Western India Union takes care of under the Department of Ministerial Association Secretary. And I know the Lord will bless us as we continue to grow in his spirit yes we all are the workers of his ministry and god will bless us as we continue to uh, do his work yes the ministry the department also has plans to extend its territories as the bible says we go through them through bible studies there are cities that the global mission has taken into uh, its consideration mission to the cities that we are trying to enter, though we have churches established there, though we have members, but the interior of the cities, we are having a less uh, message given to those people. And I hope 
the Lord will bless us as we go through the Bible studies as the Lord has proclaimed to us that we are a chosen nation. Yes, Lord has called us out from darkness into his wonderful, marvelous light. I pray that you remember us in your prayer. I pray that you take our request in your prayers so that our work in the Western India Union would be strengthened and the Lord would bless and his coming would be seen in our time such as this. God bless each one of us. Thank you. Greetings in the name of the Lord. I am Augustine Daniel, Director for the Publishing Department. I am pleased to give a short promotional presentation on the Publishing Ministries Department. The areas of publishing work in our union are full-time literature evangelist promotion, student literature evangelist promotion, and total membership involvement. Student Literature Evangelist Training Program. Yearly Students Literature Evangelist Training Program is conducted at Lasalgaon Higher Secondary School and Spicer Adventist University. We have the Missionary Book of the Year distribution and each year we have promoted this Missionary Book in our union. The future plan of the Publishing Ministries Department in our union is to recruit 20 full-time literature evangelists each year and also introduce online book sale, recruit at least 50 students, student literature evangelists every year. Total membership involvement in our union will be promoted and every member participate in the Literature Evangelist program. We also are going to translate the Great Controversy book in Marathi and Gujarati language for circulation and introduced health magazine in all the schools where our students can be blessed with the healthful message and also knowledge in health full living. I hope and pray that our plans will be executed and blessed so that publishing ministry will be used extensively for God's glory. Thank you. Hello, this is Sharad Khan Dagli, Assistant Sabbath School and Personal Ministry Director for Western India Union. On behalf of Pastor Anupam Naurangi, I would like to take the honor and opportunity to share a brief promotion and plans. This year, we are going to enter Aurangabad, Kolapur, Mumbai, Nawapur, Vidarbha region, Gujarat to promote and encourage and give follow-up. Also enter unentered areas to start Sabbath schools. The plans for promotion are to encourage in engaging meetings on digital promos, to conduct voice of prophecy lessons for small groups, Sabbath truth to be highlighted, to have teachers training for Sabbath school teachers and leaders, to follow up on inactive members, promoting city walk evangelism, to encourage on adding new members through small group studies, for offering promotions, we have some sessions to be taken on doctrinal teaching sessions. Baptisms are expected from small groups. May God continue to be with each one of us as we labor to bring people for His kingdom. We are partners with God and may the Holy Spirit empower us to lead us and guide us in His vineyard. God bless. I am Pastor Lazarus Bhattise. Family Ministries Department Director of West Indian Union. The Department of Family Ministries seek to strengthen, inspire hope, and bring healing to the marriage, families, and individual through the abundant love and serving grace of Jesus Christ. Preparing the families for the Kingdom of God to help the hazen coming of Jesus Christ. 
The institution of family was created by God himself. God who desires his every family as a little home on the earth. Indeed, it is joy to share experiences of family ministries report which was conducted during the pandemic days through Zoom meetings and also served many families in the part, uh, pandemic crisis by providing ration kits. We organized special week of prayer for the families and communities, communities in and around the church. I will go and KPI initiatives and the objectives Zoom meeting was conducted according to the church calendar. Marriage and home week was celebrated in all the churches of WIO. Zoom meeting for parenting marriage and family relationship conducted by WIO. All praises to God for the family ministry who sincerely desired to seek all the Adventist home and mission school where husband and wife, parents and kids, kids partner with heaven to hasten the coming of our long-awaited king. Lastly, Adventist single ministry was held on 7th August 2021. More than 100 single attended these meetings. The speaker was from the General Conference, Dr. Willie and Elena Wallivers. The guest speaker was Dr. Mayuri Thomas. The program was inaugurated by Pastor uh, Ezra Lakra, President of Southern Asia, Devi Chan. Thank you. God bless. Greetings to the World Church members. I am Augustine Daniel, Director for Health Ministries Department. I take this wonderful opportunity to give a short promotional presentation on Health Ministries Department. Some of the activities carried out in our union are as follows. Health and Temperance Speech Poster Contest were conducted in our union. Health rallies were organized in the schools such as Spicer Adventist University, Maninagar, Lasalgaon, Mumbai Central, Nevasa, Kolapur, Awadang, Navsari and Alte. School health program on alcohol, smoking, chewing tobacco, benefits of eating good breakfast were conducted in all major schools of our union. Health week of prayer was conducted at Lasilgaon School. Three days new start program were conducted at Mumbai Metro section, North Maharashtra section, Gujarat conference and Central Maharashtra conference. Union-wide health advisory was organized for all the health directors of our union. World Cancer Day, World Drug Awareness Week, World HIV Day was celebrated in our union. A booklet on COVID published by the Southern Asia Division was circulated throughout our union. Future plan, conduct health and temperance speech and poster contest, also encourage lay Adventist institution to participate in the contest. Special health rallies to be conducted in Gujarat and on tobacco and alcohol addiction to start 10 Adventist influence centers in our union. May God help us as we execute this future plan and be a blessing to the community at large. Thank you.